Is it true what I'm hearing, Sid? You cracked another crystal? If you need out, just ask Nan. She's got a load of new stock in. If you need out, just ask Nan. She's got a load of new stock in. And what can I do for you? From what I hear... The poor buggers. Go on, then. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. Stringing them up, it's monstrous. Clive, must have been hot. I know how hard it can be. So, will it be? Last you a good while. Not my best work, but it'll do. Last you a good while. Not bad, if I do say so myself. No scratches, right? Best work, but it'll do. Yeah, that should do you. Should last you a good while. And
let us know if you find any rotten planks. I'll see about replacing them. Sid, I... I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well, I know you are from Rosaria, and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on other business... Of course. It was foolish of me to ask. My apologies. No. Tell me of these Morgan beards, then. But of course, if my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblins' eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of Sorrowise. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. Morgan beards supposedly favor the dampest of climes. I would recommend you focus your search on areas of marshland. Morgan beards supposedly favor the dampest of climes. I would recommend. And you focus your search on areas of mar. Let's see about planting those seeds then. Your leaves are looking nice and shiny today, Father Bill. Whatever am I to do now, Clive? About what? I've two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' rags are so threadbare. It's a wonder they don't fall to pieces. And we most certainly cannot have that. A certain amount of decorum must be maintained, even here at the hideaway. You wouldn't want the poor things going without decent clothes now, would you? So you're happy to let them freeze to death, are you? Whatever will young Jill think, hmm? Oh, I've got those. And with you. Of course not. What can I do to help? Oh, aren't you a dear? You see, I've paid for two bolts of cloth from the drapers in Northreach. Blue and red. 
but they don't deliver. Not to places that aren't on the map anyway, so I'll need someone to take this receipt and collect them. And you'd have this someone be me? I would. And don't let them fob you off with anything less than what I paid for. One bolt of blue and one of red. I expect them both. Seems the Draper was more than eager to take my coin from Karen when last she visited Northreach. But so far, all they've delivered are empty promises. Seems the Draper was more than eager to take my coin from Karen when last she visited Our man in Dalamil mentioned that Kupka's guard haven't been seen there of late. The calm before the storm, perhaps. Clive! Anything catch your eye? Always something in there. How may I help you today, Clive? Your benefactors are a generous lot. All done? You'll be pleased to know we ain't heard a peep out of the Iron Blood since you cracked their crystal. Hopefully revenge is the last thing on their minds right now. You'll be pleased to know we ain't heard a peep out of the Iron Blood since you... Thanks very much. Much obliged. Thanks very much. There you go. Much obliged. Thanks very much. Much obliged. There you go. Thanks very much. There you go. A fair trade. Is that everything? Wanted one of those. A fair trade. Thank you for sticking with us. Well, can't exactly leave old Martha in the lurch after everything she's done for us. All right, Clive. You off then? I'd live longer if I bade this town farewell. But I've grown rather fond of the old place. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other, don't we? Perhaps I'd live longer if I bade this town farewell. But I've grown rather fond of the old place. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
for the ruins it came, and to ruin it returns. The marshes near the Abbey are certainly damp. Let's see if they're damp enough for Morgan Beards. Bright yellow. These are our Morgan beards, all right. Well, I've gone to this much trouble. Might as well gather as many as I can. There's something familiar about this scent. It reminds me of home. Hopefully this will be enough. I've had my fill of goblins. It is rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tongue. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part, but it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the court physicers grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, that is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. And here we are, a file of pure Morganbeard extract. A 
single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. Long before our forefathers came to lean so heavily on the Mother Crystals, they knew the secrets of the land and how to coax her blessings from the soil. It is these same techniques that we employ here in the Deadlands, and they have yet to fail us, despite the doubts of some who visit us here in the backyard. Not but wild beasts, this end. All their twisted talons and gruesome maws used to turn my stomach. But that was before I heard about the Black Shields. Not but wild beasts, this end. All their twisted talons and gruesome maws used to turn my stomach.
without him at their gate.
know there aren't any more of them. What can I do for you? I do like a customer who knows what he wants. An excellent choice. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. An excellent choice. Come back again. Let's hope the draper has Hortensis cloth. I interest you in some swans down? Perhaps some seersucker or herringbone? Just some linen. Two bolts. Already paid for in full. Apologies, my lord. But your items aren't here. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Bucklad, but there's been little traffic on the road these past few days. My mother thinks it might be bandits, but she always thinks it's bandits. It usually is. So I assume the caravan will be coming from the south? Yes. Hopefully carrying all manner of spice and sundries. Wait, you aren't thinking of... Going to find it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh. Well then, be safe? You could just wait for the caravan at the Vale. I see you wear the dame's brooch. They'd welcome you, wouldn't they? You could just wait for the caravan at the Vale.
it's a menace. She meant nothing by it, I swear. Who's gonna buy my wares now? State your animals left them in. But they hardly damage us all. Is there something wrong? If you're a bandit come to steal my stuff, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. And all thanks to this fool. But it, it was you who stepped into my path. Only after that feather brain trampled me. I demand recompense, be it in coin or the items you carry. Refuse, and I shall report you to the garrison and see you hanged. Uh, these, these goods are expected in Northreach. I mean, they're not mine to give away. You wouldn't happen to be on your way from Boklad, would you? I, I, I am, but, um, did someone from the market send you? Please, please, you have to help me. I, I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection. And coin, too. Sorry, friend. But we'll be the ones taking it. Oi! Killer! It's time to collect! I told you not to call me that. And we'd have already collected if you hadn't insisted we'd put on this little act. Bandits! As I told one of your customers, it usually is. Let's get this over with. I'll deal with the bird lover. You take the handsome one, killer. Stop calling me that! Alright, alright. You made your point. Killer my ass. Did he hurt you? No. No, thankfully. He seemed intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him. And he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. My shipment is safe, and my livelihood with it. You must allow me to reward you. We can speak of that once you're safe in Northreach. I'll accompany you there. So you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. And were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Boklad. Uh, farewell. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'd be wanting your linen. You'll be happy to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. Free of charge. Are you sure? My mother would insist. It's the least we can do for the man who saved our shipment. That's that done then. Now it's back to Hortense with her cloth. There was a time when cloth like that would have commanded a king's ransom. 
But now all the nobles have moved south and there's no one left to buy it. There was a time when cloth like that would have commanded a king's ransom. Clive, sorry again for sending you all that way. But you did get my order, didn't you? Don't worry. I have it. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Gregor's ghost. If that devil of a draper expects me to pay for these... You needn't worry on that score, Hortense. They were a gift. For services rendered. I can always return them if you like. Oh, no. Oh, there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which... Which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I... don't know. This one, I suppose. I've a mind to give a piece to Jill. Did you know she's quite the little seamstress? Hmm? I know Needlecraft was amongst her lessons at the castle. Her lessons? Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't you? Not quite together, but when my father put down the uprising in the Northern Territories, Jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father, the Silvermane, would keep the peace. She's an honest-to-goodness princess then, isn't she? I could tell, you know. Some people just have that air about them. Not many round here, mind. I'd offer to sew her something that might better suit her station, but she'd most likely turn me down, as she always does. Tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better used on the children. Don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems to be attached to the last outfit you made her. Oh, <laughs> sometimes I think she never takes it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps she'll make something for herself with your gift. Either way, I'm sure she won't turn it down. We'll see, I suppose. It makes me proud to see her wearing my dress. I only wish she'd let me make her more. Sackcloth. It makes me proud to see her wearing my dress. I only wish she'd let me make her more. Our man in Dalamil mentioned that Cookie's guard hadn't been seen there of late. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Here's everything we've received and everything promised. All yours. Best of luck out there, Sid. You'll be pleased to know we ain't heard a peep out of the Iron Blood since. I trust you wrapped up warm. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. <sighs> Understood. And thank you. <sighs> the curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not 
not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. Clive, where are you? In here. What's wrong? Those areas under attack. What? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kupka harbors such a grudge against Sid. But as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I am not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I have lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. Back to Rosalith then. Whatever has become of her. Back to Rosalith then. First he wrecked our home, now he's wrecking yours. But he's not going to get away with it this time. First he wrecked our home, now he's wrecking yours. before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. Vivian's got all the information you need. Just don't do anything stupid with it. Right? Vivian's got all the information you need. Just don't do anything stupid. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now. Where did we leave? 
Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge... Uh, can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Woe there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmechia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's Fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the Fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The selfsame army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident, but not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas, it will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. We cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way. And so must you. We'd best get a move on, then. Oh. Will you be going, too? Aye. I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on.
Why won't you let us in? Where are our crystals? The party commanded by Brother Wade is to leave for Rosalith shortly. It is unlikely the Men of the Rock will have left any survivors, but we cannot give up hope until we are certain. A party commanded by Brother Wade is to leave for Rosalith shortly. You are welcome to what little we have managed to salvage. Of course, my lord. As you wish, my lord. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. The manor houses beyond this gate have been given to those bearers we've managed to save over the years. In exchange, we ask that they serve our cause in any manner they're able, a pledge most are more than eager to make. The manor houses beyond this gate have been given to
The victims of the Vicerine's culling have been buried, but they will not be forgotten. We Guardians won't let this happen again. The victims of the Vicerine's culling have been buried.
Good day to you. Can I interest you in today? I trust it's all here. I hope it's to your liking. Ah, oh, yes. I hope it's to your liking. You're always welcome here in Lost Wing. If you ever need a room, Sid, just say the word. I'll have a bed, Good to see you, Sid, as always. Uh, Master Quinton's out back. Hello, Sid. How might I help you, Sid? Then I bid you good day. There's talk that the glass gate... Citizens are free to come and go as they please. Checkpoint's open to all. You'll find little beyond North Reach, though. When the throne moves south, most of any sense followed. Citizens are free to come and go as they please. Checkpoint's open to all. As hot as a demon's asshole, and we're all getting to the I sent to the capital for a new bear. It's been too long. <laughs> the realm may have changed. I will admit. I fancy yours, meanwhile. Before there was a north reach. But. Not everyone left the capital. In a few short moons. The veil does what it can. Not everyone left the cap. In a few short... The veil does... You are, of course, always welcome, Clive. What am I going to do without sweet water and oil of talc? Keep them pilgers nice and chilled. Look at this place.
There's no coin to be had in this miserable land. If they wanted to trade with us, 